Hello everyone. My name is Sue Swing from St. Matthew's Church and I'm here today to talk about the spiritual practice of devotional reading, commonly known as Lectio Divina, translating as divine reading. Devotional reading of scripture or Lectio Divina has deep roots in our faith tradition. It is a spiritual practice dating back to the early years of Christianity used by the fourth century desert fathers and mothers. These were people whose calling drove them away from the politics of the church at the time to a simple life based on quiet reflection with the word. Throughout the ages, this ancient meditative way of reading the Bible allows us to experience God in and through the word. To help us understand the practice from a contemporary point of view, I'll be drawing from the book, Finding Peace Through Spiritual Practice, the Interfaith Amigos Guide to Personal, Social, and Environmental Healing by Pastor Don McKenzie, Rabbi Ted Falcon, and Imam Jamal Rahman. This is a book that targets social justice and caring for the environment, focusing on what has made necessary change so difficult and what we can do to create the inner environment to work through the obstacles. The book is filled with dozens of interfaith spiritual practices, which are really fun to try. Um, in the book, Pastor Don McKenzie points us to the Bible, encouraging us to lean into key words or phrases, to maintain as much as is humanly possible a spiritual way of being. There are essentially four steps in the practice of Lectio Divina or divine reading. Number one is to read, and you read slowly. Read a passage of scripture very slowly. It's a reflective, gentle, one bite at a time kind of reading, just listening and taking it in. The second step is to reflect. And here you meditate on the passage, allowing yourself to be engaged at the heart level where um, your memory, your experience, your thoughts, your feelings, your intentions, they're all joined together. Reflect on the words that you've heard, and is there a word or a phrase that resonates deeply within you? This is where you are likely to discover what a given passage means in your life personally and as a community. The third step is respond, and here you pray in the context of the passage, and this is a natural and spontaneous prayer because you have heard this message personally from God through the word. Your response can be offered in any manner that really moves you or speaks to you at the time. Um, you can try journaling, you can try sketching, drawing, or you can just gently converse with God in your mind. And then the fourth step, number four, is rest. Take time to rest and contemplate the broader message of the passage, especially how it increases your awareness of God's presence. And just rest in the contentment of the divine presence of God. This practice is not about analyzing scripture, understanding context, or making um, an inference on the literary style so that you can get at what the passage really means. It is not intended to be a cerebral exercise. It's an encounter of the heart, a place to move into deeper love and intimacy with God. And one question before we try it is, how do you pick a passage? And I would suggest um, choosing a passage from the lectionary, which is just a general outline of the scripture that our church will use in worship. And we always have a reading from the Old Testament, the Psalms, the Epistles, or uh, New Testament, and the Gospel. And this can be a super meaningful preparation for worship if you practice devotional reading of a text for the upcoming Sunday. So let's try it now using a few verses from the um, Old Testament text for this Sunday, July 12th. And all you need to do is just close your eyes and get comfortable. And as I slowly read the passage to you, just listen gently, reflect thoughtfully, and respond faithfully to God. From Isaiah 55, 10 to 13. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, make it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it.
Lectio Divina is a wonderful practice if you struggle to find meaning in the Bible or if you simply want to feel the presence of the divine. Take at least 10 minutes longer when you can and just remember to read, reflect, respond, and rest. And know that God is with you and God is within you and all is well. Mm -hmm.